There is a wall in the Highland Park uh, district of near downtown Los Angeles, visible along the Arroyo Seco Parkway, that they now call the Jesus Wall. Now, it wasn't always the Jesus Wall. Prior to that, it was actually a very popular graffiti spot. And if you know anything about graffiti, uh, it kind of grows over time as as one gang tags its name and then the ex next gang has to tag their name over the other one and then another one or the former one has to tag their their name over that one and so it goes on and on and on until the space is just completely loaded with uh, with names. Well one day someone painted that wall and they didn't just paint it white they actually painted it blue and they turned it into a mural. No one even knows who did this but it was a mural with uh, two hands like this releasing a white dove and the words across very large letters Jesus set me free. And the amazing thing was after that for literally years, no one tagged that wall anymore. Now it broke down mainly because the paint faded, stucco was cracking, and some of the graffiti started to work its way back. And so someone came and redid the wall one more time. Now it's still the Jesus wall. Jesus set me free. No graffiti. Once in a while, a name will go down, but uh, the turns out the apartment, oh, 83-year-old apartment owner, has a can of blue paint and uh, a roller, and if something shows up there, he just goes and paints a little blue sky over it. It's an amazing thing, simple thing, but a testimony, right there to at least the power of even the gospel message, even a simple statement of the gospel message, Jesus set me free. And if perhaps some people don't believe it, they're not going to touch it because maybe they actually want to believe it. It's true. Jesus does set us free. This is John Fisher for the gospel of welcome for everyone, everywhere.